The Enclave is a, is a six screen piece. Um, it was shot on Super 16 film. It was a color infrared film, which was designed um, back in the early 1940s um, for camouflage detection. So it's a military surveillance and reconnaissance film. It was just discontinued in 2009. Um, and that's when I um, started to use the film and I took it to Eastern Congo, uh, where the war is, uh, is quite horrific. 5.4 million people have died since 1998, war-related causes. Um, yet nobody, nobody really pays any attention um, to this conflict. So in a sense, it's an invisible, a forgotten tragedy. And the film itself, the, the film, this infrared film with this peculiar pink palette, um, it registers an invisible type of light, which is infrared, which, which is invisible to the human eye. So I'm bringing these two things together uh, uh, in order to explore uh, war photography and to try to make visible this forgotten tragedy. The Congo is, is very uh, disheartening in, in that it's so such a corrupt place. Um, it's just sort of generations and generations of institutionalized corruption have really rotten any sense of civic community, any sense of society. It's disheartening and you know over successive journeys to the Congo that sort of you, you lose your faith in humanity actually. The film piece uh, inside the dark chamber inside the pavilion is very, very different to these beautiful landscapes. It's, uh, it's, it's much more approximate, much more visceral, uh, much more violent, much more scary. So these are, this is a war zone, yet it's profoundly beautiful and like a really tremendous place. This beauty is underwritten by this, this horrific human tragedy and human suffering. And so there's this, there's this real tension between ethics and aesthetics and this is tr what I'm trying to bring this tension to bear on the viewer to really you know form form pro a problem in their mind they're, they're deriving um, aesthetic pleasure from a situation of terrible human suffering <laughs> find this a very interesting way to explore and unpack Eastern Congo's conflict, where um, there are 20 plus rebel groups. Um, it's, there's no, it's really a state of anarchy. In Eastern Congo, there's no real rule of law, no justice. Um, and the conflict itself is, is, is a very disturbing one. Um, it expresses itself in uh, really horrific uh, acts of sexual violence, for example. Uh, massacres are frequent, especially of civilians. It's not a, it's not a normal kind of warfare in, in, in traditional sense, and, and uh, that's, that's why I'm trying to, uh, to uh, approach it in a different way um, to the, the conventions of war photography, which the whole black and white, um, grainy Robert Kappa look, I think it possibly doesn't do, do, do Congo justice anymore. People have stopped seeing this, this tragedy. I'm not reacting to photojournalism. I'm not trying to disrupt it or condemn it. I think it's tremendously important what journalists do. However, it's a very different thing, um, what they do. They have, they have very specific rules of fact-checking, all that kind of thing. For me, I'm very much, you know, it's a, it's a journey within my imagination. It's a personal thing. Um, and it's really, it's really about asking questions rather than providing answers. <laughs> 